In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to sit an object on a pillow in Blender's physics engine, going from here to here. There are three things that we're going to look out for today. First, that the pillow takes the shape of the object perfectly. Second, as you can see, the edges of the pillow are elevated a little bit, because when you have an object pressing down in the middle, there should be pressure on the edges. And thirdly, you can see that below the pillow is flat, so it sits on something, not just awkwardly floating in air. Before we jump into the simulation, there are a couple of things I want to explain quickly. In this case, I use this mask that I modeled for my latest project here. If you want to check it out in detail, I leave a link down in the description. But the object can be anything, really. And this goes for the pillow as well. They can be any shape. What's important is to set up the physics engine correctly and to have enough topology on the on the pillow so it can take the shape of the mask. In this case, I try to keep the poly count as low as possible, but ideally, I think you would want more or not. It's really up to you. Okay, let's get started. You would think that the logical thing to do is to just drop the mask on the pillow. And I tried to do that, but I just couldn't figure it out. If you know how to do that, please leave a comment down below. I would be interested. So instead, I came up with the other solution to just drive the pillow into the mask. And it's it works nicely, you will see. So to do that, you're going to have to add collision to your object. And that's the only thing you need to do with your object. As for the pillow, you're going to have to add cloth and put the gravity to minus 0 0.2. So you want to have minus, so the pillow moves up on the Z axis. And you want to have a lower value so you can control the movement and stop it in time. Before you start the animation, make sure you have the frames at 0 and that you have the cloth above the subdiv. Because if you have it the other way around, it's going to run super slowly and you don't want that. So once you set up, just start the animation. Once you're happy with uh, a frame, you're going to have to apply the cloth to make the pillow mesh again. After you did that, that was the first phase done where the pillow takes the shape of the object. And now the second phase where you want to have that flat surface below. And to do that, you're going to have to turn the pillow again into a cloth. But this time, you want it to drop. Make sure to have the frames at zero and the cloth above the subdiv. So this time you want it to drop. So same lower value, but positive this time. You're going to have to add a plane so it had some, has something to hit. Just move it a little bit closer to the pillow. You have to add collision again for the plane as well. So once you set up, just run the animation again. Go into side view and have a better look. So let's say... We are happy with this frame. You can delete this one. After you decide you're happy with it, again, you're going to need to turn, apply the cloth. And then the pillow is done. So as you, as you saw, when the pillow was falling, everything on the top was falling simultaneously. That's because the only force affecting the pillow is gravity. So this way, the form that took the shape of the mask is not going to deform. It's going to stay the same as when it hit the mask. So after you're done, you want to move your object down in place. And just stop when it, it starts to cut through somewhere maybe here. Yeah, that looks good. And once you did that, you're done. 
I hope you learned something today and see you in the next one.